everybody, Dr. Cobb of Z-Health Performance. Today, we're gonna to talk about how improving foot mobility can improve your ability to do a side plank. If you remember in past videos, we've talked about this whole idea that the nervous system does three things. It receives input from the body, it takes that information, interprets, in the brain and then decides what to do with it and then it creates an output hopefully good motor control and good motion all right so just think about this we need good sensation coming in we need good decision making and then we need good activity as a result one of the most basic points that we talk about in z health is that you're constantly getting input from all the joints in your body uh, and this is incredibly important to recognize because at our base level we talk about doing precise joint mobility work because every single joint in your body has the potential to send either good quality signals to your brain or low quality signals to your brain. And so what we want to ensure is that you're getting good input from every joint. Now, when you get good input from every joint, it can create enormous changes in strength in places that you might not expect. One of the exercises that we see people struggle with a lot is what's called a side plank. So what we're going to show you today is how mobilizing joints in your foot can actually influence the muscle strength in your hips and your core. All right. So we're going to go ahead and actually start off with a little bit of a plank test. So join me on the floor. All right, guys, so we're down on the floor. If you're not familiar with side planks, pretty simple idea. We're actually gonna extend the body unless this is too hard for you. You're gonna have your elbow basically underneath your shoulder. I like to have the palm down or side of the hand, you're karate chopping the floor. The whole idea behind a side plank is lifting yourself up and becoming a board, all right? So I wanna be this nice straight plank. What I want you to do is try this on your right side. I want you to hold it for 15 seconds, get an idea of how hard this is for you relax, and then you're gonna spin around and you're gonna test this on the other side, all right? So once again, we're getting set up. We're gonna raise up. If this is too hard for you, you can do it with your knees bent. And you're trying to get an idea of how high you can lift the hips, how easily, how much tension you're feeling here. So in other words, you're doing a strength test from your right side to your left side. Okay, now here's the important part, important point. I want you to decide right now which side felt weaker. Was it your right side? Was it your left side? In my particular case, my left side felt a little bit weaker than my right. So we're going to focus on mobilizing my left foot. Now, in order to do this, we're going to stand back up. You're going to need a couple things. You need a place to hold on and you need something soft to put your foot on. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to mobilize some joints on the outside of our foot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kneel down and I'm going to show you the point that you're looking for. All right. So on my left foot here, I want you to find your outside ankle bone, slide just underneath it and slightly toward your toes and you should feel kind of a hole there, all right? If you find that hole, when we do this foot mobilization, this is where I want you to feel the stretch, okay? The exercise that we're gonna do is called an outside toe pull and we're gonna try and feel the stretch right there in that spot, all right? So what we need to do, we need to have some place to stand and hold on this is not a balance exercise, so it's very important that you're holding on. I'm gonna face uh, the wall or whatever I'm using to hold on, a chair. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, bolster or pad or pillow or cat or whatever you can get to hold still back here. You're gonna put your foot on it with your toes curled under and then your ankle is gonna drop to the outside of your body. Okay, so again, toes are curled under, ankle drops to the outside of the body now I'm going to get nice and tall and I'm going to take my left, my knee, and I'm going to move it to the outside of my body a tiny bit. So I'm rotating my knee out. If I do all of that correctly, I should start to feel a little stretch in that spot that you were just touching. Once you feel that stretch, you're just going to do about a three inch knee bend with the front leg. And you're just trying to mobilize, feel a really, really minor stretch in that spot. It should not feel like a hamstring stretch or anything like that. It's mild and comfortable. Okay. So you've just done about five repetitions. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to the floor. So you'll get your stuff out of the way. And what I want you to do is you're gonna go back, you're gonna repeat the plank on the weak side, and I want you to see how it feels now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down. Get set up, and when I'm ready, lift up. For me, I don't know about you, feels a ton more comfortable. One of the reasons this works is that the hip musculature, the muscles of your core, 
need good information from your feet because when we're walking, the nerve endings in your feet are telling the rest of the body what's going on and what to do. So this is why this is such an important and cool, easy exercise that you can focus on that should dramatically improve your ability to do planks in any kind of abdominal core work, which everyone seems to be really interested in these days. So if you're doing uh, stuff like this in the gym, make sure that in your warm-ups and often in between your sets, think about your feet. Get your shoes off, learn how to do some good foot mobility, apply it, you should see some amazing results. All, all that for a coffee stir? And a thumb drive. Oh, and a thumb drive, okay. Thumb drive. All right. Oh, well then. Well, then that's okay. Yeah.